this ashi once again before you so in this video i'm just going to show you how to actually change uh, the logo of tutor starter uh, template so as you can see uh, here is actually tutor starter i have already changed uh, sorry um, it's not actually changing uh, though uh, even you have changed the logo but it's not showing in front end so if i just go to the customize and change the logo uh, and uh, let you know okay here is the logo so let's uh, change the logo let's change it okay it's it's loading okay let's upload the logo Okay, I have already uploaded this one. Let's uh, crop it a little bit because it's a big logo. Let's crop it. Now, uh, I'm gonna crop the logo. Let's. Okay, so uh, here is our logo. Choose the logo. I have changed uh, the logo already. Okay, I have changed, but it's not showing in here okay here is uh, i don't need to upload in here also okay let's upload it let's upload it also and uh, i want to crop anything skip cropping then you can see this type uh, this is actually showing but if i just publish the page and refresh here then we can see the ch logo is not changed okay this is not changed for uh, now what i need to do i need to uh this is actually default logo and this has been set in theme okay we can't change it now what do we have to do we have to install a plugin plugin names is actually wp code so let's write here wp code install it <clears throat> sorry and let's activate it this one activate this one okay now as you can see here is actually code snippet we have to hover this one let's go to header and footer now here in the header you have to paste a code this is the code and here you have to provide the uh, logo url so, so where you will get the logo url you have to go to media then click on the library i'm just opening that in a new tab and uh, here is our logo so i have just clicked on here then this is the uh, file url you have to click on here copy url to the clipboard then you have to just paste it in here so when you just paste it and let's click on the save changes and here we are need to give logo width now if i just refresh the page then we can see our logo has been changed so that's great so this is the things that's it for now thank you so much